One of the biggest questions in Stranger Things Season 4 is why exactly time in the Upside Down seems to stand still. And what's with the grandfather clock that's tied to Vecna? Does the Upside Down and the creepy old clock have a connection? While we don't have definite answers as of yet, I might have an idea of what the answer could be. Oh, and obviously, spoilers to the show incoming. So in episode 7, The Massacre at Hawkins Lab, Steve, Nancy, Robin, and Eddie finds a portal to the Upside Down, a portal that was created when Vecna used his powers to kill Patrick and through which tentacles from the Upside Down proceed to grab Steve and pull him to the other dimension. After a lot of commotion with Nancy, Robin, and Eddie diving in to rescue Steve, the group makes their way to the parallel version of Nancy's house in the Upside Down in search of guns that she supposedly got a hold of. While inside this version of Nancy's house, Nancy gets confused while in her room, as some things just doesn't seem right. One example is a stuffed animal that still lies on her bed, despite her throwing it away years ago. Realizing that the situation is very strange, she checks her diary, where she finds that nothing has been written in it after November 6th, 1983, which is the day that Will Byers disappeared into the Upside Down. Now this twist presumably tells us that the entirety of the Upside Down is frozen in time. But why is that? <sighs> One theory out there is that the portals could act as a sort of update for the Upside Down to restructure itself from. Ah, however, after the events of the first season, several other portals had already been opened and subsequently closed, and if this theory was correct, then the Upside Down would already be sort of up to date with current times. Now, the general theory that's floating about out here on the interwebs is that the Upside Down was created when Eleven banished Henry through the first ever portal, and that this is the sole reason that the Upside Down is stuck in time. However, this idea gets one thing mixed up. In my video about Vecna's connection with the Mind Flayer, I speculated on this very idea, that by Eleven and Henry's psychic energies colliding, a hole was punched through space-time, which was also then the first portal. The problem here is that when Henry was banished to the Upside Down, the year was 1979, and after the event that took place in the flashback scene, Dr. Brenner proceeded in putting Eleven through even more intense experimentation, which tells us that Henry had been in the Upside Down for about four years before the events of Season 1. So, what gives? Well, here comes the bombshell and probably the most logical explanation. As we see with Henry falling through the portal, it's pretty clear that the Upside Down is a dimension of absolute chaos. Ironically, there is no up or down just yet, as Henry is falling sideways. What is very likely though is that Henry was the first ever life form from Earth to ever appear in this parallel dimension, and because of his psychic abilities, the Upside Down becomes his sandbox as he starts laying the groundwork for an actual physical space. He doesn't do it alone though as the Mind Flayer is probably the one who made sure that he survived in the Upside Down and connected him to the overall hive mind as we see with the tentacles. Why? Well, if we go by everything we've seen so far, the Mind Flayer isn't just the ruler of the Upside Down. It's literally the personification of it. We know that all the creatures and tentacles and stuff is just one giant hive mind. This hive mind being the Mind Flayer. Now the simple reason to why time is frozen in 1983 and not 1979 when Eleven opened the first gate is because Will is the first person after Henry to enter the Upside Down physically. Maybe his memory of Hawkins is what laid the groundwork for the parallel town we see. Or it's possible that Vecna is the one who uses the portals as not only gates but also windows into the physical world, which lets the Mind Flayer restructure the Upside Down. They're basically in symbiosis with each other. In any case, we also know that Vecna or Henry has always had an issue with time, as it is a concept made up by mankind. So his use of the grandfather clock whenever he kills his victims is to ironically symbolize that their time has come, as a way of playing with his victims. What an asshole! I don't really think that it has a bigger meaning than that. Now, I know that I backtracked on the idea that Vecna and the Mind Flayer are the same being. And this is because we can see the shadowy form of the Mind Flayer being imprisoned in the Season 4 Volume 2 teaser trailer. Which means that Vecna and the Mind Flayer probably aren't the same entity. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Have a great day. I'm out of here.